Hello, hello, happy Wednesday. Happy Wednesday. Who's here? Can you hear me? Papa, can you hear me? Papa, can you see me? <laughs> Name that tune. Papa, can you? <laughs> I'll stop. <laughs> Hello, hello, hello. Giddy up. It's Wednesday. Wake up. Wakeity wake. Oh my God, I paint all over this. <gasps> there we go. Hello again. I'm here. Ah! Oh, uh, I'm live now. Let's turn this countdown off. <gasps> Hi, guys. Hi, everybody. Hi from Chattanooga. Ah, oh, you guys, I just want you to know, I never do it, but normally I don't really have uh, beverages, adult beverages, I would say, um, <laughs> during, uh, yes, it was Fiddler on the Roof. Thank you. Thank you. Also, Barbara Streisand has a very good rendition of that. So I don't normally drink adult beverages, but I poured myself a glass of wine. Uh, and it wasn't just a normal glass of wine. It's the only glass of wine I'm going to have tonight, but it's quite large, so you won't see it. Hi, everybody. Um, it's Wednesday, and um, today I did a deep dive in my thoughts, <laughs> which is pretty random, uh, about how my Wednesdays go. They're very booked. Like, they're crazy booked. Hi, guys. Hi, everybody. I'm sorry. I'm looking for the, okay, my, my cord. So, they're like, so much going on. And I have, um, both kids are on spring break. Well, I have three kids, but two of them are on spring break and they're home, which is great. Uh, but one of them decided tonight, I want to go back tonight it's boring here. I didn't bring my computer. I I get it. It's when your kids grow up and all of a sudden you don't become as entertaining, which is fine. Oh, thank you for saying my hair looks great. Um, but it's kind of weird because I was like, no, we can have dinner. We can do something. We can, you know, but he's, he is, he's going back to school. So at some point I might have a teenager or two walk in here and say, Mom, bye, I'm leaving. I'll be back Saturday. I don't know how that works. He's not that far away. I shouldn't be that brokenhearted. Uh, but, you know, it's just one of those things when your kids get older and you're like, okay, we'll go to Costco. We'll do this. We'll go out to eat. We'll, well, we went to Costco. Spent my money. So... Um, it was a very busy day and a very important phone call this morning uh, that I had to prep for. I had to dress up, you know, the whole nine yards. So I'm still wearing it, and this is not ideal to paint in. I feel like Harry Houdini. So um, there's nothing up this sleeve, and there's nothing up this sleeve. So um, I... I, I should have changed my shirt, but I didn't even have time to do that. I went and uh, did that. And then at noon, some of you might have seen that we did uh, uh, an edition of Jelly Telly. Hi, kiddo. I love Lejean. Thank you for saying that. Um, I did a version of Jelly Telly with Luann and Birgit. And um, that was really fun. That's on my YouTube channel. And it just turned out like we all the Internet gods were playing good. And that felt really good. So, um, <laughs> Judy, thank you. Nothing up this sleeve. Just a little bit of talent. <laughs> yeah. Um, oh, good. Sherry says, I'm in a similar space with my kiddos. It's so true. It's so crazy. Take your time, girl. No worries. So if one of them pops in here and says, Mom, I'm leaving, I'm going to go, oh, come on. You just got here. Um, oh, so you did order the kit. Yeah, there was a new spring kit. Um, it was really great. It's just really great to do some. I, I don't know. I, don't, I guess it. Uh, hold on. I got a bra strap showing. I think I got two bra straps showing. Um, it's really interesting at this age, I'm not old, I'm not young, uh, to finally feel comfortable in my own shoes or in my own space or my own lane or whatever you want to call it. 
I think there's been a lot of meandering and figuring out what I want to be when I grow up. Somebody asked me that today. Um, I can tell you what I want to be when I grow up. I don't want to grow up. Um, so <laughs> I ordered a kit from them. Great. Uh, by the way, I'll be getting that kit and those stencils. I'm going to ask for all those flower stencils. So that'll be coming my way and we'll be doing something with that. Um, so anyway, um, that was my little moment of how did I not know about Jelly Telly? I'm sorry. And I probably was lax in the advertising this week. It's on my YouTube channel. It's on um, Jelly Arts. I probably neglected to really, I, I was afraid I was going to be a hot mess today. But uh, tell me about the spring kit. Uh, the spring kit is a card kit. comes with paints, brayer. <laughs> I can answer this. And two spring flowered stencils, which I got had a hand in picking those stencils. Guess what? They're flowers. So um, thank you, Pam, for saying you enjoyed that. Um, I'm finding a lovely little space of interviewing people and listening to people and getting to know people and slowing down. Um, it's just amazing. I don't know if I if I should say I'm slowing down because I am moving a mile a minute. But anyway, um, it's Wednesday. I am going to do a free demo, but I want to talk to you about some things. Uh, uh, let's let's. It's five thirty three. I can talk about whatever I want to talk about. Um. So. <laughs> do you like how I get around? Where do we order that? Uh, if you guys have any questions about Jelly Arts, Jelly Arts is their uh, page. Uh, you can go over there and see the interview I did today. It's over there. It's on my Facebook page, too. So, um, but I'll answer more questions about that. All right. Here's the number one question of the day. By the way, everybody's being welcomed into the three-day uh, Sunset Wall Art Challenge. That was happening today, I noticed. Um, here we go. This is number one. Number two. I don't know what order we're going to paint them in, but this is the sunset challenge. You can paint them in whatever size that you want. So I highly recommend if you want to um, participate in that. Uh, the cost is ten dollars. Uh, I'm gonna Kelly. You, I'm gonna open up your world, love. Uh, I work for Jelly Arts, jellyarts.com. <laughs> I am going to open up a whole new world for you. So uh, I can't wait. It's It starts the um, three-day sunset wall art challenge. starts in one week from today. So um, I have, I'm going to put this back. Um, it starts one week from today. Uh, I never did get the artwork back from Michaels, but I never called them. The other thing I decided to do was leave it there because, uh, sometimes I feel like it's better served somewhere else. Does that make sense? Yeah. I, I, I like, sometimes I feel like if somebody picks something up or it was meant to be with them, maybe it was meant to be with them. And maybe one day I'll be like Banksy. Uh, do you guys hear how much his, uh, I don't know if it's a him, Banksy, I'm not going to say is a him or a her, uh, but in London, I guess uh, his or her latest work went for like $23 million. Uh, oh, uh, Bonnie wants to know, uh, I'll answer this quick question. If I was only going to get one jelly plate, what size would you get? I would get the journal kit. I would get the journal kit that comes with a brayer. A five by seven plate, I would go get the journal kit and use this code, Tracy, capital W. Okay, there you go. Uh, that's what I would do, five by seven. That is the the what I would get. All right, so um, that was answering the question from earlier today. Is there an online class for the denim jacket behind you? Um, no, but there will be one day when I get some time to record it. <laughs> so that's on my to-do list. So that is um, how I felt about that painting and went to somebody else. I paid it forward and maybe one day they'll auction it off in my absence and it'll go for a lot of money 
and one of you will say, I knew her when. Okay, um, so the um, three-day challenge, the Sunset Wall Art Challenge is next. That is live. I will be teaching that in a private Facebook group. Today we welcomed in the first group of people. I asked you to introduce yourself. Um, and that was great. It was. I did a welcome video in there every day, uh, next Wednesday, Thursday, Friday is when the lessons will be at 8 a.m. And if you can't be there live, then you can most certainly um, We'll view them later. Ruth, there is no ongoing Dare to Be Artsy code. Sorry, we don't have an ongoing one for them. Um, that's a small business, and I try not to um, abuse the codes. Does that make sense? So there's no ongoing code for that one. Um, yes, somebody mentioned my love for hats. This was a great day of signups. I'm going back to teaching in person. So um, April 3rd, if you're anywhere in the San Diego County area, heck, if you're in um, anywhere, um, I'm teaching this class or this class. <laughs> Am I turning in the right? Oh, no, I'm not turning in the right direction. Okay, there we go. Um, I will be teaching this class. Um, this is painting garden hats, which I cannot wait. I feel like that goes more in the center. And um, I'm going to teach this online too. I have to record it. I got to go get some more hats. Uh, so <laughs> I will try to do the hat class online. Otherwise, stay tuned and I'll just have to travel to all of you. And um, thank you, you guys. Uh, you know, it's, I, I will, I will come, keep coming up as long as the, the inspiration keeps flowing, that will happen. Um, so that's what I'll continue to do. Oh my God, Connie, are you going? So today I had a slew of, um, people signing up. So that was really great. And I'll max it at 20. I'll consider 21 <laughs> just for an odd number. Um, thank you. These are gardening hats and I will uh, be doing that. And um, I will definitely uh, be doing more of that. So, <sighs> all right. I think I need to breathe. You know what? That idea came to me from somebody else, and they said, why don't you paint a garden hat? And I was like, by the way, Karen Mooney, I will travel to New Jersey anytime. I happen to love New Jersey. Also, my um, my ex-husband's family is from there, and I want to go see them. I'm still close to all of them, so I will definitely do that. All right. Uh, I, as much as I can keep doing stuff, uh, I will keep doing it. Um if you all are wondering about me teaching live in person, oh, Deborah just said Cape Cod. I would like to go up to Maine. Like, I, I, like I've got a whole area I need to cover. Uh, I used to travel teach for a living, uh, and then I stopped to stay home with my kids and get my life back together. So I'm ready. And um, by the way, I have my first vaccination scheduled. I also, the first thing I'm doing out of the gate before I even participate in more travel teaching is um, I'm going to go see my family in June in North Carolina. So if anybody's in the North Carolina area, um, I would love to. Um, Anne just said Australia. If anybody wants to bring me back to Australia in New Zealand, I'll be there in a 16-hour flight. I have a list of places that um, I would love to be at. So that's it. Um, basically, I love to travel. My kids are all in college now. Today I was answering a question about where I'm at in my life. Um, and I said, this is legit what I said. I had no idea that life was going to start at 50. Life is starting at 50. Um, I will be traveling. I probably shouldn't say this. I'm going to be going to Raleigh in June. I'm putting it out there. 
Raleigh. I'm going to Raleigh in June. Uh, can you please put up the sign? Uh, oh, I can. Yes, I can. Oh, uh, Chris, thank you. Oklahoma, Oklahoma, Oklahoma. I will be in Oklahoma. Um, hold on. <laughs> October. For um, I have two art journaling classes. I will be there in person. I legit want to fill that class up, and then I want them to move me to a bigger classroom. That's the goal. How many people do you need for a class? I don't know. Usually my minimum was 10 when I was travel teaching, um, and it just depends on what area. Oh, my gal. You know what's weird? I legit said Oklahoma, and Darla Foreman leaves a comment. Wh huh? What? Okay. Darla, can you leave um, a link to um, Painting Palooza so that link is out there in the world? Um, and if you guys have friends, thank you. I want to be that person who says to Darla, I need a bigger classroom. I want to be that person, just to be clear. Because she's used to me being a pain in the butt. I'd like to be a bigger one. Somebody's asking about my hat class. I think that was Ruth. I'm going to find it for you right now, Ruth. I'm going to give you this link. I think I'm going to give you a link. Otherwise, I'm not going to give you a link. Um, let's copy and paste this. Um, so, Patricia, I'm supposed to go to Seattle in July. You guys, this is making me feel good. Um, but I will start painting. And nobody wants to really see me talk about travel, but I want to talk about it. So um, here's the thing about me teaching. I um, Here's the thing about me teaching again. Uh, tell your local stores, your local places, your local event planners about me. Have them contact me and we'll figure it out. So that way I don't, uh, I don't um, mess things up. But, that's just how I work. Um, yeah, anywhere in the Midwest. Uh, I, I'm from Michigan. I'm, I want to go back to there. Uh, so uh, one question came up that I want to just address. Let me look. Uh, what's your supply list for tonight's demo? Watercolors and a Sharpie. Um, oh, okay. Wendy says Australia, East Coast. That's fine. You don't want to... Uh, Am I saying Raleigh funny? It's Midwest. That's me. Um, it's me. Thank you. Um, Seattle area. I'm supposed to go to Seattle in July and get on a boat to take a cruise. Probably not happen. All right. So the supply list for tonight is Lodge Deep in my head. Jody said, uh, Michigan's great in the summer. I I'm from Michigan. I, I will do anything to go back there. And uh, I got a place to stay. I got pl several places to stay. So... My supply list tonight is uh, in my head, and I'm about to let it go. When will you be let into the challenge page? Started today. So uh, we do it in rounds every morning. Starting today, uh, I think about 100 people were welcomed in. I, it's not like we're just going, yeah, you. Uh, it takes a little time just to make sure you're on the list. So if you signed up, if you signed up earlier than today, you should be in. I think. <laughs> Anne? All right. <sighs> Oops. <laughs> that was not successful. All right. Here we go. Yes, Painting Palooza is a whole new date times two. Um, and I need to rebuy my ticket because I'm putting, sorry, I'm looking for the beginning of this painter's tape. And it, it seems I have seven beginnings to this painter's tape. Okay, well, that was interesting. All right. So, oh, I love your top. Oh, um, it's made by Harry Houdini and Company. Link for the challenge group. We don't give the link to the group. You have to follow the email. Sorry, that's a private Facebook group. The second I give it out, everybody bypasses signing up, and then it just causes mayhem. You should have gotten a welcome email. I'm just going to tape this down while I'm talking. Uh, I don't give the link to the group, but uh, uh, there we go. There's, there is the captain of what's going on. Um, I'm going to add this to my, okay. 
There she is. Hi, Anne. I miss you, Anne. We haven't talked in like a whole week. All right. Sorry. I'm just going to just, just, just. Okay. First off, if you didn't get a welcome into the Facebook group, check your spam email. Uno, number one. If you don't see it in there, drop an email to support at yourartfuljourney.com and your lovely Anne will be there to help you. She is amazing. That is our customer service specialist. So I'm going to go ahead and start taping this down. Um, yeah, Palooza is October 23rd through the 30th, which is good for me because originally I was going to be gone for my birthday. And, and I'm turning 50 again plus one. And I don't want to have a COVID birthday. I turned 50 during COVID. That doesn't mean I didn't celebrate. It just, just means I need to do it again. Do we sign up? Yes. Uh, here's the thing about this. Um, if you are in my tribe, your artful journey, this is not included in membership. It is outside of the art journal. It costs $10. Again, we are doing sun rises, sunsets in April. I don't make it a requirement that you do the challenges with me. You'll just be ahead of the class. That's it. Um, did the email thing and requested to be let in last week but haven't gotten in yet, so was just wondering. Yep, that's a question for Anne at support. I didn't get an email, but I did find the group and requested membership. Okay, yep. <laughs> I'm not your customer specialist. I don't really know what's going on. Okay, so what, what are we doing tonight? Thank you for the website for the hats, but it wouldn't let me register. Mm, it says get tickets. Ruth, if you send me an email, uh, Ruth, send me an email or message me and I'll send you the link. Okay, uh, enough housekeeping because, um, and you know what I got to, you know what I have to think of too? Here's my thing I have to think about. Every year for my birthday, which I turn Here's, it's the anniversary of my birthday. Thank you for saying that. Um, every year I give back. Um, I give stuff away. I The gift for me at this point is people just being with my friends or my family or my kids or whatever. Um, but I love in the art world, I've done this for probably since I started as an artist when I had sponsors and people I worked for. I would do giveaways so I'm going to start thinking about that. May is going to be another challenge. Excuse me. I am got a lot of tea sitting in me. Um, we're going to do a challenge in May about mixed media. Um, I'm, the wheels are turning. Every year I've done giveaways. That's all I've done. I like to give stuff away. It just makes me feel better. And I don't need anything. So I don't need anything. Um, uh, I mean, I have a roof over my head and some paints, so we're good to go. <laughs> I'm good. <laughs> I love it that everybody's giving me their birthday. I turned 50 plus 20. <laughs> yeah, so my birthday is um, May the 4th be with you. I don't like Star Wars, so please don't send me Yoda. I get a lot of Yoda. And... Um, I'm going to get my wheels turning about my birthday, okay, and giving back, and what can I do, and what prizes, and what, so let's, let's go big, because it is the anniversary of my 50th birthday. <laughs> That's where I'm at, and remember, life starts at 50, is what I've just figured out this week, because I've been hiding somewhere. All right, thank you, Pam, yes. Um, all right. What do y'all want to paint tonight? <laughs> what do y'all want to paint tonight? Let's talk. Colors. Throw something at me. Give it to me. Let's. All right. I'm going to pull out. Oh, speaking of, I have to go place an order. All right. I'm going to pull out some Sharpies, my necessities, my... We're not going to use that stinking pencil. No. All right. <laughs> I am loving the birthdays. Remember, I just figured out my life started at... Well, and, and, and trust me, my kids. Okay. my And my kids, I love them so much. Um, I am going to... 
What colors? I want to go. I want to go bold, bright. Um, I want to go red something. Okay, I'm just going to start. <sighs> Remember, you got this is a quick and easy demo. Oh, look at my yellow. Look at my yellow is going away. I need to get that refilled. All right, let's let's do this. I'm going to Oh my go. Oh, look at the dirty water is the dirty water is or the what's left in the brush. So this is my art journal that I work in and I'm going to work from the space I'm in, which is going to be, look at this. I'm going to drag this shirt through. Oops. I don't want to start with red. I do, but I can't because and I want to use that yellow, but my yellow is, let's find a yellow. Here's a yellow. I found a yellow. I'm just going to start laying some color down. Now, remember Wednesday night, you guys are asking, and I love it. Um, oh, do you guys want to know about the pouch? I'll give you a link. I have it. It's on my resources page. Um, and can I trouble you to show my resources page? And I think we have to get a new link going. And I have it customized. My name is on it. Okay. Whoops. Oh, look at that yellow. It's just coasting in there. So, um, I, by the way, when I do demos on Wednesday, and yes, I'm feeling hot air balloons, orchids, da 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 da. Remember, this demo is free, quick, and easy. I'm coming from whatever space I happen to be in, but remember, free, free quick, and easy. Because I do have to be done. I gotta. I don't know what this is going on, but I, I need to either take this shirt off, go change, or. Oh well. We'll just keep it rolling. Ooh, so I don't this is like reds, yellows, and oranges. Not my norm, but that's okay. <laughs> what body part are we painting tonight? <laughs> we'll find out. <laughs> So I'm just kind of going in here. Um, I'm kind of just, I'm just throwing up color in this, which feels kind of good actually. Okay, I'm using the classic water set color set here. What is this? This is Jane Davenport's, um, Jane Davenport, I don't know. Look at how bad this set is. Uh, I don't know. Jane Davenport. <laughs> Sorry. Um, I the the, and I'm just I'm using the pinks out of this. Oh yeah. Good. Quick and easy. That's our goal tonight. <laughs> Sounds like I could make so many bad jokes. I. Holding them all in. There we go. Done. Oh my God. Hello, my friend. Just leaving work and I wanted to pop by and say hi today. Hi, Whitney. What do you think? I had a really good hair day, by the way. <laughs> Whit, look, I had a really good hair day. It's not looking like it now, but <laughs> if you all, I, I had, I've had about five comments about my hair today. The artisan who is behind my hair is my friend Whitney. So if you're ever in the greater Ramona area. <laughs> oh, and I got new lipstick. Like legit, I'm wearing lipstick today. Yeah, if you're in the greater Ramona area, which let me just tell you, the word greater Ramona area means I live remotely. <laughs> so you don't happen to be in Ramona. I don't know why I say that, but I just, I'm going bigger and bolder. Um, she also happens to be one of my 
very, like, just, well, you know, like your hair stylist is your hair therapist at the same time. So I've gotten a lot of hair therapy. <laughs> oh, uh, Kelly, I do. I am saying quick and easy. And I, when Whitney popped in, I was like, oh, my God. <laughs> if Whitney starts talking about me, I'm going to kill her. <laughs> I am wearing lipstick. Um, Y'all, I have to tell you, I got a free lipstick from MAC, and I'm wearing it, and it matches my shirt. <laughs> I don't think I've put lipstick on in the past year, so... Yeah, if you're all... If you happen to be in the greater um, Ramona area, please look her up. Don't look her up because sometimes I feel like she's not taking my appointments, but that because that might be because of all the therapy she's given me. She also does an amazing eyebrow and mustache wax, if anybody needs to know. <laughs> By the way, did you all hear um, <laughs> Kelly? Kelly Allen, I legit feel like I need about an hour of joking horribly. Watching the colors morph into shapes. So far, I've seen a car, a butterfly, a dinosaur. like watching the clouds float by. Love the color choices. Good. Love the blue. Oh, my God. You guys, I'm kind of feeling like now I'm going to go in an opposite direction than what, you just, what I just said I was going to do. But I'm not going to. All right, I took a quick quick heat gun to this. Oh, yes, I am not so far from there. Yes, this is a heat gun. It's on my resources page. I'm not sure if that's been shared, but I will go in here. Oh, my God, I am, I am just laughing at all the... If you guys all ever want to get uh, the ends, I'm going to tell you a funny story. Here, Here's... Okay, here. Whitney will remember this story. I'm not going to name any names. There's no names. No names. No names. By the way, the heat gun's there. Um, there's no names in this story, Whitney. <laughs> um, one time, I have to say this with eye contact. I'm not far from Julian. I'm on the way to Julian. One time I was getting my... my I'm Maltese. My family grows facial hair on our face. <laughs> it's almost like being Greek. Um, so I was getting my mustache removed, and somebody went, Is that Tracy? Mid waxing. <gasps> oh my God, I follow you on. I was like, Huh? I had, I don't know what color the wax is, but one time my, girl, my girlfriend was there to take me out to lunch for my, um, my birthday. And so she took a photo of me, and I think the wax was, like, <laughs> super green or something. I don't see the wax because I'm laying down. Um, so um, that is my story that I went, are you kidding me? <laughs> I was like, I guarantee I'm going to end up on some sort of weird website with my mustache being wet. Yeah, I'm sorry. I am Maltese. I think it's, I don't know. We grow hair. <laughs> Ask Whitney. She never, she says she's never worried about me. I've got a lot of hair. All right. So, uh, I don't know what is happening in this. But we're going to find out. Uh, it's so funny. <gasps> Tracy, is that you? And my girlfriend is, it was my best friend who came to meet me for lunch. My best friend, like, you know, we hide nothing from one another. I go, yeah, just meet me at my hairstylist. And so she did. And she was taking pictures and she was like, I'm totally paparazzi you right now. <laughs> so I'm just going to say, if you're ever getting waxed, um, that's where you're going to run into people. I'm trying to think. I'm so sorry. <laughs> All right. Well, now I have a giant circle. Uh, it was so funny. 
I was like, yeah, hi, my name's Tracy. Now's not the best time to be chatting, but I can talk to you later. <laughs> All right, that was a watercolor background. And if you all noticed, I didn't really care. This is a meditation for me. <laughs> Whitney just said so many stories. Yeah, you want the down and dirty about me? You want to talk about my divorce? Call Whitney. You want to talk to my, wait, you want to talk about either divorce? Yeah, talk to Whitney. <laughs> All right. People always wonder why I just go on the painter's tape. but So what's the purpose of this meditation act, you ask? You let it go. You, oh my God. So I'm using a Sharpie. For those, I never asked, is it, oh, gal, maybe now's not the most opportune time. Is this the first time somebody's joining me? Because <laughs> you all know now my, uh, <laughs> my stuff is, oh, I got to get this, there's water on this. Okay. Oh, that is not funny. All right. Is it my daughter who is seven said, Mom, she she's crazy putting a mask on a Maltese. Okay, that's not a Maltese puppy. <laughs> Legit there are Maltese people out there who do All right, I have to I'm sorry, I'm so distracted. All right. What oh whoa, whoa. Okay, I'm sorry, that got way out of hand. Let it go. Oh, shoot. Okay. I don't know what's going on with this. Ugh. You ever just go, wait a minute, maybe you should be pay attention to what you're doing? Yeah. All right. Maybe that would be me right now. <sighs> I don't know what this is. Let's, let's just see where it goes. If you don't know where it's going, tell you. <laughs> oh, <laughs> that's okay. I've got a couple of kids calling me Aunt Yoga Pants, so what are you going to do? <sighs> so... I don't know if you notice what this is doing, but I'm just kind of going like over. I don't know. It's just a, this, this flower is, this flower is just legit trying to figure its way out in the world because everybody made fun of how weirdly shaped it was. Hmm. I don't, I, I don't know. And speaking of which, I just, oh, and anybody taking that class with me in um, painting the garden hats? You're all going to meet my stepdaughter. Oh, my God. She's coming to the class. And you may be wondering, why do I have a stepdaughter and I'm divorced? Uh, because I still consider my first husband's daughter um, my kiddo. I love her to death. So she's just informed me she's coming out for... She's 33, 34, and she said, but I still want an Easter basket. <laughs> She's going to be surprised when I'm hiding shots in the front yard. Um, okay, this flower has no idea where it belongs in this world. But Oh, Anne just said, I love this flower. Well, this flower, okay, I'm just... I was kind of working on something similar to this the other night, and I, I never finished it, so I kind of figured tonight. And yes, this, oops. Oh, you divorced the man, never the kids. Never in my life. I I love, I loved uh, being a stepmom. Yes, thank you. That's so true. Yeah, and, and um, still, really, you know, my kids, I got kids, so. 
I should have a few kids home for, I don't know who I'm going to have around, but I'm, I'm happy I'm going to have somebody. I don't really go crazy for Easter. I don't really go crazy for much anymore. All right. I don't, I don't know. Look at this. Is this... I love that you love your stepdaughter and stuff. Oh, we, oh, gal, Chris. Oh, yeah. Um, wait, if anybody takes, I know I've got a couple of people coming who, <laughs> um, by the way, uh, is she going to be here for a while? I'll get her online. She makes me laugh. Like she messaged me last night and said, I need, I would like to come for Easter. And I was like, well, and Yeah. Um, I came into her life when she was six. I'm, I'm deciding where the next something goes. Like, I, I came into her life when she was six. So, um, oh, I think this could end right here. Look at that. Look at that. Isn't that crazy? You just kind of go over, under, over, under, over, under. Um, and so... Uh, and I was part of her life uh, for 15, 16 years, but we never stopped. So I'm so lucky. I'm so lucky. And we pick up exactly where we left off every single time. Okay, this flower, this this is, I'm looking at the screen and I'm going, wow, it's kind of crazy. Um, so let's start, I don't know about the inside of this yet. I'm leaving that. Hold on. I'm leaving those petals. I'm thinking about this. I got an idea. And I've done this before. It works. I don't know if it's going to work now, but let's do it. This will be a quick and easy, like, oh, this, this brush is going to be way too thick. Hold on. I got to. Oh, Pam said uh, she's sorry she's late. Uh, she was on another Zoom. Well, now we have to start all over again now. So I'm going to go. I'm going to, I might regret this, but I don't think I will. I'm wondering if I'm in the TMI range about my life, but you know what? It is what it is. So TMI, that's who I am. This will help me differentiate where everything is. I'm going to go back in with the red because I was feeling red. So what time is it? Oh, I hate that time goes so fast when we're creating. I will be done by 6. Oops, get out of there. I will be done by 6.25, 6.30, okay? I, I get an hour. I get whatever I want. Okay, uh, I have to keep moving my Harry Houdini. Um, I'm late. I'm late because I'm naked in the shower. <laughs> okay, <laughs> somebody beat me in the TMI department. I'm feeling fine. <laughs> well, it was nice that you showered for our time. <laughs> oh my God, I, I love the 50s. You guys. <laughs> so now I'm just going to go back in all of the space that there's not a petal. I'm going to go bold. I'm going to go red. I love red. I, red is just one of these mystifying. If tonight goes reasonably well, I legit am going to drink this big old glass of wine and congratulate myself that I didn't fall apart. Is that reasonable? <laughs> okay, hold on. There, there. This is blank space. Okay. I feel like there's a bunch of random fingers or rabbit ears or if okay, that goes there, this, this will make it easier for me to see what is where. And then I'll color the wrong thing. Okay, hold on. Oh. So y'all wonder why I never come up with a preconceived notion of what I'm doing? Because this is what happens. We discover, like, 
crazy creativity, and that's what I want. All right. Oh, I love this. Um, speaking of Italian, um, who just said she's Italian? Anybody watching? Um, uh, what's his name? Give me a second. Hold on, I gotta figure out where all this goes. This is like a tangled mess. Stanley Tucci um, discovering Italy or something. He's eating his way through Italy. First off, I love him. I gotta, I gotta get a look at this. I'm sorry. It's just I have to figure out what goes where. This goes there. That goes there. This goes. Oh, am I still on the screen? Sorry. I'm. I don't even know you guys are still here. Okay. Okay. That goes there. That goes there. That goes there. This goes here. Okay, I think. Uh, then there's this little one. Okay, that goes there. What is this? This goes there. That goes there, I think. This goes there. This goes there. That goes there. This goes there. That goes there. That goes there. That is a thing. Okay. Yeah, I think I got it. Did I miss any spots? I don't think so. Food in Italy. Oh, my God. Life is better in the 70s. It's hard to be embarrassed about anything. Really? I'm going to get... This is going to get better? You guys. Oh, my God. I hope what you say is true because I have really finally latched onto the 50s and embraced it. I had a call today and somebody asked me about being different in working in my industry in the, my 20s versus my 50s. And I said, I have enough friends. I now negotiate contracts for a living. And I don't, uh, yeah. Missed one on the left. Hold on. Missed one. Well, I guess that could have been the right. Okay. Is it done? Is it done? I'm looking. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Right here. What's that? That. What is that? Nope. Is that the one? Okay. I'm going to, for right now, um, I'm going to leave this. I kind of want to fill it. Wait, whoop, there's another one. You know what? No, I'm going to come in here. I'm just going to, I can always darken this in. Oh, wait. There's one. Thank you. Oh, oh, I'm just going to make my life easier if that's just filled in. I can always darken that up later. Just, okay. I'm going to leave that, I'm going to leave that, I'm going to... Cool. I'm using a Faux Sable number 8 brush. That's what I'm using. Not a lot of water, I was just concentrating on making that red. Uh... So, I'm good with this, right? Am I good with it? Yeah, yeah. All right, I've got less than 15 minutes. Oh, The Good Year with Gerard Butler. I need to look that up. Um, I, I also have figured out that somebody was making fun of me and... Um, I have a brother who I kind of grew up with who's not my real brother. And I, um, his wife was making fun of him that he has not seen The Princess Bride, nor have I. And so she was making fun of us. So I now have realized that I'm equating myself with somebody else who has not seen The Princess Bride. Okay, I will look up that Gerard Butler movie. I, I love him. Did I miss another spot? I'll figure it out. This one goes up there. I'm 
I'm now going to just come in and I'm going to draw as if my pants were on fire. Oh shoot, this paint is still wet and my hand is in it. Okay. Jan is watching Gerard right now. It, what, in your living room? Or did he just show up and he's like, hi, it's happy St. Patrick's Day. What? <laughs> okay, Jan, if Gerard Butler is in your living room, I'd like to know how that connection happened. Thank you very kindly. Can you, can you tell him I'm single and ready to jingle? Look at that. You can just screw. Oh, I got my hand in wet paint right now. Oh, very wet paint. Cool. So now, all right, that's done. I almost feel that it should be darker, but I'm not going to do it. <laughs> If Gerard Butler was in your living room, I would legit find a way to fly to you. Now, you may be wondering, legit, how much does she care about the scribbling she's doing? And the answer is, I don't. So, but, but I do care about the fact that this pen is running out of ink. Um, so let me... I'm just going to have fun with this, and I'm going to let it do its thing. Oh, I love when I get a new Sharpie. I'm going to... Everybody, that Sharpie is being thrown away. Whoops. <laughs> okay, Jan, I think, just said... I, I'm not looking because I'm drying. If Gerard Butler were in my living room, I would not be online with you. <laughs> okay, just wondering. Now, it gets a little dicey when you have to, like, figure out where they cross and where they... But just do your best guesstimate. So... These are, like, Dr. Seuss flowers, so we don't care. Okay. I'm going to try and add as much definition to this. Oops. Just to be clear, you guys, if Gerard Butler showed up here on a Wednesday night, I would totally be dedicated to all of you, and I would legit show up because that's how I am. And if you believe that line of malarkey, uh, yeah, I would not. I would, uh, I would cancel in two shakes of a lamb's feather, and I would just be out of here and say, nope, not happening. But, I mean, we all see where Jan, where Jan's alliance goes. <laughs> oh, what is this thing right there? Y'all, I missed the spot. Come on. Who is Gerard Butler? Oh, look him up. P.S. I love you. Oh, this is not the right brush. Oh, that brush was so thick. Hold on. <laughs> okay. Mm. 
Now, the thing about these lines that I'm doing, nothing is measured, nothing is at exact. It's just scribbles. They're just play. I'm just playing. Oh, I did I did share Wyland with you. Aren't you glad he's an amazing artist? I he's written so many amazing books. Yeah, I'm and he's from Michigan. Now, when I get down to the nitty gritty here, I don't need to like really make sure that every line is going to a location. I'm just I'm just playing. I just want to make sure that okay, so I I seemingly okay oh thank you Mary Mary was like you finally got to it well Mary you just had to text me all right I have seven minutes There's still one more on the left? Where? Really? Oh my god, there is. <gasps> this is so aggravating. Okay, why I decided to do this. Um, the, okay, I thank you, Barbara. Noted, got it. Okay. Filling it in. Thank you. I love it how you armchair quarterbacks are like, that was bugging me. <laughs> so, yeah, I do tend to go, I was bugging me too when I finally saw it. I can't see anything from the vantage point I have, obviously. So, yes, I do like to come back in and just reiterate the space. It's this attention to detail I like. Now, my brain is going absolutely bonkers, bananas, nuts, okay? There is a lot I will do, I would want to do to this with white and checkerboard and dots and uh, I'm doing a demo this is not like I I like I want to get it done I'm I mean I like to give you something that's going to inspire you to create but I'm already thinking about, oh, okay, I just can't help myself. So I'm just going to try and add some bit of semblance of detail to this. And I don't care. It's my page. I'll go over if I want to. Like this would be. Oh. And, it's, and I'm sorry, all the twisting and turning of the book. It's just, I have to. Whoopsie. Whoopsie. 
Oh, come on. Can you try and draw one straight line? There we go. I can't wait to take the tape off of this. Yeah, I have used Posca pens, and I do like them. Um, uh, I have used them. It's just not something I I normally use. Doesn't mean I don't like them. Uh, Need a little palette for some white paint. Come on out. Uh oh, why is it blocked? I'm a little nervous when something gets blocked like that. Yes, I have used them. Uh, now, whoop, 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 okay. Oh, I always turn the, well, it, so somebody said you're like teaching, like you turn the book. Um, it depends on if you're right or left-handed because, um, sometimes it's easier to create and like when the paint, oh, 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 too much paint. Oh, well, who cares? Um, I'll just let that be imperfectly perfect. Now, let me get a liner brush. Oh, do I have one in here? Yes, I do. Okay. I I find it's like easier for me to move the book than it is for me to um like navigate reaching around i i know it's hard when you're watching it too when i'm you know twisting and turning the book but um it just is easier for me and i'm gonna oh i got a kid home And I, oops, I'm dipping into some other color. Okay. Now, you notice I'm not trying to stay in the lines. Uh, no, the paint I'm using for the dots and just throwing these lines on here is acrylic. Oop, a little thick. Oop, a little thick. Uh, liner brush and you are not friends. Guess what? I'm going to talk about this uh, a lot with mixed media. Uh, if you can make good with a liner brush, it will change your life. Let me just tell you. And it takes some practice. But you notice I'm really not, you know, if I was sitting here by myself, I could use a, I could use that marker for this too. Or the pen I was just built. I'm doing it as if I don't care. Now I do care. I do care about my art. I, but I think that whimsical approach to just letting it go feels really good. So practice, practice, practice. Um, it was funny, Lisa with two S's, um, you remind me of something because somebody said, in your artful journey in our lessons where is that particular lesson and I loved it that Lisa with two S's said um, I it wasn't um, an exact replica it was my interpretation of something and I was like oh that just shows growth okay this is just a black stamp pad and a stencil brush um, I'm going around 
I'm gonna we're gonna darken that no the paint's not dry but my time is up and um, when my time is up so long farewell I'll feed you saying goodbye to you and you now this is really wet in there um, now I'm gonna say something and I'm gonna regret it and I'm gonna start it and then I'll really regret it in here it would be so fun and I probably might do it <laughs> to go ahead and make this like a checkerboard and just I'm probably going to do it, so you're going to wake up when I share the picture tomorrow and be like, how did you do that? It's going to take some time for me to go in and fill that because I, I didn't think that ahead. I was just, but I want to checkerboard this. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to take the tape off because um, I'm going to take the tape off. Here we go. <sighs> But this is going to be different when you wake up in the morning. Um, the, the reason I say that is because I've made a decision. And when I make a decision, I stick to it. <laughs> so when I, I got to I'm going to, the sun is starting to, okay. So what do y'all think? I'm going to take the tape off. Goodbye. So long. Farewell. We're done. Mm. Oh, I would have blackened the border. No, that's okay. Woo! I have an idea on that border, so I'm not going to say anything, but you might wake up tomorrow and there's going to be something different on there. That's it. That Because I made that decision in my brain. All right. It was a little different. It was a little different. And that's what we want, is a little bit different. Um, now, I'm going to be honest. Tomorrow you may wake up and you might see something in the middle that, okay. It's kind of crazy. Yeah, I'm going to go, That I'm going to need some darker in the middle. So, the good news is this was a very mixed up flower. I feel you for <laughs> Yeah, there's going to be, and I'll finish that off uh, uh, when I'm done. It just, I, I know when to call it, uh, but I love it. I love, and I'm going to do one other thing to it that's in my brain. That's how my brain works, and that's what's going to happen. Um, thank you so much for tonight. Do not forget a couple of things. Here's my resource page. Anything that I used here, I try to list. If something's missing, all you got to do is let me know, um, which y'all do. Uh, and I'm good with that. Uh, if you're looking to sign up for the wall art challenge, we're going to go bigger and better and more fun. Um, Kathy said, I'll see you tomorrow. Kathy, did we set something for tomorrow? <laughs> um, if you're in your Artful Journey uh, membership group, uh, and if you're not, first off, let me find this. Okay, there's the wait list to get in. Um, doors will be opening later this year. Um, that's why I'm asking Kathy, did I set a date for something and I not know it, but... Friday morning at 8 a.m., we have our second morning meditation for March. Uh, I don't know what we're going to do yet. Uh, so, yes, see you Friday. Tomorrow is Thursday, right? I'm not. <laughs> I feel like if I set a date for tomorrow, I'm in trouble. Thank you, Nancy, for ending my date, my day so cheerfully. Um, I'm going to go have that giant glass of wine. And I'm going to relax a little bit uh, and take the pressure off. But thank you so much. Thank you for showing up on Wednesdays. It really does make a difference to me in my life, my business, and having something to look forward to to just kind of let loose. 
Friday is at 8 a.m. for your Artful Journey members only in our membership group. Okay? In our membership group. Uh, uh, yes. Oh, uh, I will be, um, I do, uh, I'm going to work on this a little bit more. I've got a couple more details I want to add. Uh, and I do post this. I'll post a photo of it in the morning. Yes, I'm sorry. I thought you said I'll, you'll see me tomorrow. And then I thought, oh, God, where was I supposed to be? Because I've been missing appointments left, right, and center. I love Wednesdays, too. Thank you so much. Just as a reminder, all of my videos go to YouTube. So if you're looking for content back from day one, from when I started this gig, you'll get a good vibe of who I am and what I'm about. Um, but life didn't start until 50. So, um, the good news is you really want to check uh, from last May 4th till now. I'm kidding. It started before. Everything I've done has built to where I'm at today. Uh, thank you, you guys. I will see you all next Wednesday, which is the 31st. Um, and that is the first day of the sunset wall art challenge <sighs> have a wonderful day i will see you all um soon if you're a member of your artful journey i'll see you friday thank you guys i'll talk to y'all soon